So when we talk about Xavier Rhodes, I think the decline has been pretty obvious and noticeable to most people, and there's a lot of numbers that also show this. Coming into this Detroit Lion week before this game that's happening today against the Redskins, we kind of saw a lot of people being like, bench Xavier Rhodes. And obviously he has the name value. And per pro football focus, I know a lot of people don't like pro football focus, but they do credit him with 28 receptions and on 33 targets and gave up 266 yards, 24th among qualifying corners. And he's also allowed two scores and 110.4 quarterback rating when throwing his way. So what does that mean? Uh, he's not a $14 million corner anymore? Probably, but that's not good, obviously. But can he get back to that $14 million corner status? Probably not. I don't think he can. Just because he is a bigger athlete at, at corner, anyway, he's about 6'1", 6'2", 220-ish pounds. And those guys tend to decline a little bit faster. And he's already 29 going on 30, and he's injured a lot. What feels like almost 17 to 20 times a game, he comes just like to the sideline like, I'm hurt, and then he goes back out. So that isn't helping. He's quite injury prone, although little injuries, but lingering things. He's already declining, and he's turning 30. So I wouldn't think there's a real good chance he really recovers back into 2016, 2015 Pro Bowl caliber form. And... I also think that's a reason why we won't see him dealt at the trade deadline. I don't see any team that's really going to want Xavier Rhodes on that contract. So he's kind of here to stay. But that begs the question, what do we do with a one Xavier Rhodes? Um, I, I, we fortunately do have options. Obviously, like I think the real one is... That's pretty obvious is, oh, we have Mike Hughes. That's a former first-round draft pick. We just got him, put him in, and people are being like, just bench Xavier Rhodes wholeheartedly. I don't think you bench Rhodes entirely just because I do like what they've kind of done with these corners. You have a lot of guys that do different things that work well on different guys. And so I don't think you can just say, oh, it's very you know black and white where it's, oh, let's put my cues where Xavier Rhodes would be because I think we saw it uh, last Sunday against Detroit where Galladay did have a catch, and he kind of just bullied Mike Hughes. That doesn't happen with Xavier Rhodes because he's a bigger, more physical corner. So what Mike Hughes has is great change of direction. But what I would say is we probably need to start talking about maybe phasing Xavier Rhodes out a little bit because we do have another physical corner coming soon, technically. Don't know how much you guys want to trust him. Probably not much at all. But Holton Hill is coming back pretty soon off of suspension. And you can probably start phasing him out for Hughes and Holton Hill pretty shortly here. So I think that would probably be the way to go, just kind of go in a younger, cheaper direction. And he's probably not... Rhodes isn't going to be here in 2020. I don't think he will be. I don't think he necessarily should be because this is only going to get worse even as this year goes on. So I can't imagine when next year is going to be or the year after that. But I would think that's something they should look at doing, you know, just for the future even. It's like, do we have a good corner in Mike Hughes? Do we have something, something of a find in Holton Hill? Even though I wouldn't say he's necessarily a find since, you know, he's – Probably would have been a third round draft pick had he not been, a, you know, on the weed. But I'm not really a fan of Hughes being the main punt returner because of this. And it's, you know, already pretty dicey to be throwing out, oh, hey, you know how this guy right here, he's coming off major knee surgery. You know what he should do? He should return kicks and or punts. Um, mm, Not a big fan of that. Just because you also kind of might need him to play a key role on the defense. So, I don't really like the idea of having to replace a corner on defense because he might get hurt on a punt return. And my question is, why not Amir Abdullah? You know, he's already a key special teams player guy for the most part. 
He doesn't really get in there on the offense every once in a while. I guess he'll take a draw or something. But for the most part, he's a non-factor on the offense. And we've seen him do kick and punt returning before. And I think we would all agree a backup running back, a punt gunner, and a returner of sorts would probably be easier to replace than a guy you're counting on to play defense and cover receivers on a play-to-play consistent basis. So that's just my thought. Like, if he were to get hurt due to injury, that's a lot easier to replace than an actual starting corner in the NFL if you're going to be playing them this way. So that's just my two thoughts on that. I don't think I would have cut Marcus Sherrills to do this, even though I know Marcus Sherrills was cut because – Davian Davis, and who knows, maybe after this week, this game, we cut Davian Davis again, put him on the practice squad again, and then sign back Marcus Sherrills, but just because of the things. But I don't know. Things are weird with that. (laughs) But I wouldn't anticipate Xavier Rhodes to be here in 2020, and that's kind of where I'm at with that. But I would say just start to maybe phase him out a bit more through the second half of the season. And even then, I think we might see a more effective Xavier Rhodes because we are trying to phase him out, so to speak. So when he is out there, he's not playing, you know, 90% of the snaps. He's, you know, kind of more well-rested. Maybe play him in a more of a situational role now where, like I said, with Galladay, he can probably match up pretty well with Galladay on the outside just because of how big and strong he is. Like a guy like Alshon Jeffrey on the Eagles, that's a guy that I would want to put Xavier Rhodes on. He's a big dude. So just things like that, I think, would be probably more ideal for this team. I would like to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Should we outright bench him, phase him, what I said with that? Is that a dumb idea? Maybe not. You agree, disagree. Comments below, all the good stuff. Like and comment, subscribe, you know what? Also helps. And until next time. I bid you adieu.